Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I found this article which is basically saying that Prince Charles blew his top when he heard the Meghan and Harry interview with Oprah and he actually wanted to directly address everything that they said during the interview point by point to clarify it to the public that Harry is pretty much a spoilt, privileged individual who basically has thrown the toys out of the pram because he didn't get his own way at least or he didn't get what he thought he was going to get after he severed ties with the British royal monarchy, the royal firm and he is basically very spoiled and he wanted to address it but then he decided against it because he didn't want to degrade himself any further than Meghan and Harry already have which I think is a very logical thing to do and like I said regarding Kate Middleton addressing all of the claims that allegedly she made Meghan cry and gave her flowers and chocolate you walk a fine line with a couple like that because the minute you start responding to the allegations the accusations and the misinformation because they couldn't even be clear about when they actually got married they themselves thought that they got married three days prior when really it's been clarified that they didn't actually get married so a lot of lies were expressed during that Oprah Winfrey exchange and it was all made up based upon feelings like I said about the comments about baby Archie's skin tone you could have read it in two completely different ways I would read it as a person of color that someone would be asking me about the color of my child's skin tone because it's going to be biracial it could be a darker hue or it could be completely light it could even come out with blonde hair and blue eyes who knows right when you're having a child of mixed origin you just don't know what traits it's gonna take from either side and either parent and i don't see why that could automatically be uh, deemed a racist comment everything was blown out of context and then it was automatically linked to race due to what they wanted to build the narrative that they wanted to project to the left woke public the sugars they decided to run with the race card even though there wasn't really much said that really directly led to racism i just don't get it right and i don't think a lot of people get it including charles but Charles wanted to directly react to his son, which is natural, it's very normal. And Harry also mentioned that his father stopped taking his calls, which I think was an unnecessary revelation. I mean, you're saying that to Oprah of all people on such a worldwide platform. You're talking about your now fractured relationship with your dad due to this whole mess this whole debacle the same man who supported your choice in bride even though she broke all of the stereotypes of what a british duchess would be he actually walked her down the aisle in spite of the fact that her relationship with her family was very dysfunctional he still supported this union and then you're now trashing him it just didn't make any sense so i'm gonna get into the article it's by the mail online and it says Prince Charles wanted to release a point-by-point -point response to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's interview claims but decided against it because he didn't want to give more ammunition a royal expert claims. Charles wanted to release a point-by-point -point response to Harry and Meghan's bombshell claim in their Tell All Oprah interview but decided against it. Katie Nicole noted that both the Prince of Wales and Prince William were keen to correct some of the allegations made against the firm by the Duke. During their interview this month, Prince Harry and Meghan said racism drove them out of Britain and claimed that their son was denied the title of prince because he's mixed race. Do you believe it, guys? I, I don't believe it. Anyway, we've all heard this interview by now, so I'm going to carry on. Meghan also claimed that Kate left her in tears during a row over bridesmaid dresses and Prince Harry accused his father, Charles, of refusing to take his calls when the pair immigrated to the United States last year, 
My understanding is that Prince Charles did want to issue a more detailed statement in response to the Oprah interview and possibly address some of those issues point by point, Katie Nicole said. But there was an evening to think about things and in the end it was decided that a shorter statement would be better and that going at things point by point could be potentially more damaging and give more ammunition for the row to continue. I think Prince Charles and Prince William were keen to correct some of the things that the couple had said. She went on to say that Prince Charles was particularly frustrated by the suggestion that he cut the couple off financially. If you speak to sources in Charles's camp, that wasn't the case, she explained. He did continue funding them for quite some time after they moved first to Canada and then to America. So he did actually continue supporting them, which we all knew was the case. I mean, how could Harry, (laughs) and especially Meghan, I mean, she had basically no money left by the time she got into the firm and after her first year of spending she definitely didn't have any money left she was only worth 1.7 million she spent 10 times that how could she have had any money to finance a move overseas i think there was at one point the feeling that they did want to address more than just the issue of race it also comes after cbs presenter gail king said she had spoken to the sussexes who told her that Harry had talked to the Duke of Cambridge and the Prince of Wales after the interview. But she said the conversations were not productive and the Sussexes were keen for the royals to intervene and tell the press to stop with the unfair, inaccurate, false stories that definitely have a racial slant. Which is very interesting also because we know that every royal, Diana got it, Kate got it, Fergie got it. So we know that it's it's impossible. The, the royal family do not control the press. They cannot stop that kind of engine. It's a very powerful engine and everyone just has to kind of grin and bear the pain of it, especially when you are attempting to integrate into the firm. There's always going to be this new fixation with the new person and stories will spread like wildfire. But if you are truly there for the right reasons, you will weather the storm and you will survive it. Megan was there for all the wrong reasons and everybody knew it. They could see, we could all see straight through her facade of, oh, I'm I'm really interested in British um, lifestyle. I really want to be here. It's like, no, you don't. You just came to collect. You came to take because you could not make it in Hollywood. That's literally how calculated she came across as. It carries on here. Miss King, 66, who is also close friends with Oprah, failed to give any examples of the stories she was referring to, but added that Meghan had documents to back up everything that she said on Oprah's interview. She told CBS this morning, Well, I'm not trying to break news, but I did actually call them to see how they were feeling. And it's true, Harry has talked to his brother and he has talked to his father too. The word I was given was that those conversations were not productive, but they are glad that they have at least started a conversation. And this is another thing. Why is Harry giving Gail King, of all people, minute-to-minute updates on how his relationship is going with his family. I think that for me personally, if I was his dad or his brother, I would then be more afraid to talk to him because I don't know what he's going to say or how he's going to twist my words and so on and so forth. So it continues on here. And I think what is upsetting to them is the palace keeps saying they want to work it out privately, but yet they believe These false stories are coming out that are very disparaging against Meghan still. No one in the royal family has talked to Meghan yet at this particular time. And I think it's frustrating for them to see that it's a racial conversation about the royal family when all they wanted all along was for the royals to intervene and tell the press to stop with the unfair, inaccurate, false stories that definitely has a racial slant. And until you can acknowledge that, I think it's going to be hard to move forward, but they both want to move forward with this and they both want healing in this family at the end of the day. That is Harry's family. Well, 
this is it. We have to ask Megan whether she wants healing and whether she wants to move forward because the problems start with her. It only takes one rotten apple to spoil the rest of the harvest, right? And it seems as though everyone seems to have forgotten that, especially the extreme left woke people. They kind of just want to beat this racism drum as opposed to looking at facts over fiction. She can't tell the truth even if her life was on the line. She couldn't even recall properly about the day that they got married. Both of them kind of seemed as though they were stumbling in the dark. There was no real major revelations. It was just, I felt like I've been locked up. I felt like I had to stay in. I felt like this. I felt like that. I felt I this, I that. I felt baby art. She didn't get a title because I felt as though it was due to some comments about what color he could possibly. And I felt that it was racist. <laughs> she doesn't even know what racism is, even if it punched her in the face. I can tell you what racism is because as a dark skinned woman, I know the difference. I know what it feels like. And it's certainly not, oh, I wonder what color, um, blah, 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 blah. It's more direct than that. It really is. She doesn't actually know, but it's the only drum that she can really beat in order to get what she wants, in order to have the attention and to remain in the headlines, in order to keep Harry basically under her spell and fixated on his family being all bad so that she can make as much money as she possibly can. That's what it really is about. So, of course, she's having all of these made up feelings that simply aren't true. Why would the royal firm stop someone who is meant to be representing them from getting mental health treatment? It just makes no sense whatsoever. And I've gone on a bit of a tangent here, but she just really annoys me. The article hasn't finished yet, but I think I'm probably going to leave it there because there's just so much other stuff to cover. And that's pretty much the truth. Charles didn't release his statement. He didn't directly speak out against his son. And I guess it was probably the best decision for him to make. I'll be back with another video. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye guys.